Toby, guess where you're going? Do you guys see that? Those are goldfish eggs coming out of cream orange. And when mixed with some sperm, you get goldfish babies in a couple of days. Rewind. Okay, this is me filling up a container to express my goldfish. Yes, my goldfish finally have eggs. We're going to breed the goldfish. The bad news is it's not the goldfish that I want to breed. Now, I am okay with breeding this goldfish, cream orange. You know, she's nice. But she's not as good as Stacy. She's not as good as, you know, Betsy. She's not as good as Jigglypuff. But I'll take what I can get. Um, and not only did Cream Orange have eggs, but this other random baby that I bred last year, like I haven't even named her, she had eggs too. As always, I like to pre-season the water with a little bit of sperm before I release any eggs. I like to have a little bit of sperm present. Now, unfortunately... A lot of the males in that tank were still kind of young. They did not have that much sperm in them. They had some, um, so you know I didn't want to. I didn't want to push out more than there was. So I just gave them a light, gentle squeeze. Whatever came out, came out. For this batch of eggs, I used a sperm from three of the males. They were all in that same tank where the females were. Um, one of them was Maximus. You guys probably know Maximus. He's one of my favorites of the babies. Um, another one was this other red-white male that you know is very beautiful. And then there's this completely white, you know, lemonhead male that I liked a lot as well. Next up was releasing the eggs from the females. So I started with this little tiny unnamed orange female. And one mistake I made is that I did not take all the other goldfish out while I was doing this. And you're supposed to do that because uh, they'll go around and they'll start eating the eggs. They probably ate, you know, some of those eggs. Uh, but immediately after I did that, I then began scooping all them up and putting them in a bucket I had next to me. Next up, it was Cream Orange's turn, the big, fat, orange female. Now, when I started pressing on her, a little bit of white came out, and I was confused. I'm like, what? Is she releasing sperm? Is she releasing sperm and eggs at the same time? What is going on right now? And then I realized those are just egg poops. I've been feeding them a lot of eggs recently, and I guess she's been having a little, little egg diarrhea or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but the thing with Cream Orange is that her spawns always kind of suck. They're always kind of watery and the eggs don't look very healthy. But these are the only two spawns I had to work with right now. After this, I decided to add a little more sperm from one of the males. Typically, after I release all the eggs in the sperm, I let it sit for 5, 10, 15 minutes, and then I dump out basically all the water and I fill it up with fresh water. I want to get that sperm and dead eggs out of there and get fresh water in there because those eggs can easily just get in, you know, contaminated with fungus and die. So I want to get fresh water in there, and I also want to put an oxygen stone in there, air stone in there, to get the air flowing. So for this spawn of eggs, I decided to not put any methylene blue. I usually do put methylene blue to prevent fungus on the eggs, but I'll be honest, this spawn kind of sucked. It was not what the fish that I really wanted to spawn, and there was not even that many eggs, and there was not that much sperm to work with, so... This is honestly just going to be a testing kind of spawn. I want to see what kind of hatch rate I can get with no methylene blue. Uh, if changing the water out of the eggs, you know, multiple times a day, is that going to be enough? And I also just want to see, like, you know, will these babies turn out good? Because a lot of them are from first generation, you know, parents, like their first time spawning. Will it be any good? I don't know. I want you guys to breed, okay? Look at this. Plants. It's spring. Now make some babies. Make some babies, Jigglypuff. We want some jiggly babies. Oh, Tubby Toby. Hey, Tubby. Hey, little Toby. Guess where you're going? Guess where you're going? Into your new home. Into your new home. How do you like it, buddy? Mini Stacy, come here. Come here. Okay. Okay. There you are. There you are. You know what? I want to get this beautiful red white girl. Ugh. This beautiful red white girl. She is also going to go in that tank. Okay. There you are. How do you like it? Wow, that's a really beautiful ranchu. That is a beautiful ranchu. You going to eat Tubby Toby? You guys gonna eat or are you too stressed? Let's make sure you spit the sand out. Hey, okay, good. Okay, guys, the bee got in a little bit of trouble. It looks like he might drown. I'm gonna save him. I'm gonna save him if he promises not to sting me.
Also, guys, don't forget to pre-order your Tubby Toby plushie. I have good news about the plushie. I finally broke profit. So I've been in debt on this plushie this entire time. But last week, we finally got to enough orders that I'm in the profit territory now. Um, so it feels good. Feels good to not be in debt on the plushies. About five hours after fertilization, this is what the eggs were looking like. So as you can see, we have some eggs that look kind of transparent and clear, and other eggs that are white. Those white eggs are gone. They're dead. They were either dead when they came out, or they just did not get fertilized, and the fungus has already got them. Um, but the transparent ones, they're still alive. They're still healthy. Those are fertilized, healthy eggs. Um, now, basically, the, the goal is, you know, in two days' time, three days' time, when these start hatching, how many of them will turn white? We'll have to see and find out. And now we go to the supermarket to buy food, not for me, but for my fish. Yes, I literally buy food at the supermarket specifically for my fish. All right. Okay, $5.99 for 16 ounce shrimp. Okay, we also got two dozen eggs. We got the eggs, we got zucchini, we got shrimp, we got garlic. This is for me, I like milk. Guys, I didn't even realize this. Two dozen eggs was $2. I did not realize egg prices came that far down. With how expensive my mortgage bill is, honestly, I might just start an all egg diet. Three dozen eggs a day, $3 of food a day, and your know, eggs got basically all the nutrients you need, I think. I think. Could you survive? Could you survive on an all egg diet? Let me know.